In this video, we'll talk about the warming ginger ingredient in Pokemon Sleep and cover all the Pokemon that can find it and have it as an option in their ingredient lists. Overall, I would say the warming ginger is a little bit of a complicated ingredient to figure out for many reasons, which we will get into in this video. And for starters, it's because the Pokemon that are ingredient specialists that have the warming ginger as an option, um, the Pokemon themselves are difficult. So the Kangaskhan is a mono ginger uh, contestant, but overall is very hard to come by. It's a rare Pokemon, it's hard to befriend, it doesn't have any evolutions, so that inventory is going to be a problem for you. And overall, I wouldn't recommend Kangaskhan as a Pokemon, just because it is fairly rare. It doesn't really do anything all of that unique. And I would probably put it in C tier, maybe D tier uh, overall. Uh, that's at least my um, opinion on it uh, as it stands. And to an extent, I would prefer uh, the double potato on the Kangaskhan, but that's just me. So we have another contestant here, the Tyranitar. Tyranitar overall is a really strong Pokemon, uh, definitely A tier, possibly S tier. It depends a little bit just on how you go about uh, running the Tyranitar. The Tyranitar evolves twice, although quite late. If I'm not mistaken, it's like level 42 or 43 for that final evolution. The berry is quite strong. Uh, it is favored first at Top Hollow, while a Pupitar, and then evolving it into the Tyranitar, you're gonna move one island, one evolution, into the Snowdrop. So you get favored berry there as well. And I like the main skill. It does help out a little bit in terms of the energy. And uh, my Sylveon tends to let me down every now and then, but the Tyranitar is just camping at 120, 30, 50, just all day, every day. And uh, it really works well with the overcharge uh, strategy. So you can bring the Tyranitar in and out of your team whenever, and you really don't really think much about the energy overall. So with the Tyranitar, it has the potential for the triple ginger. And I think overall, as a pattern, I would say the Tyranitar is the better option. Uh, among all the Pokemon that we'll get to here. It just very much depends on your collection. There is a lot of nuance when it comes to the Warming Ginger, in my opinion, uh, just because you have some extra options on the Tyranitar that we'll get to in a little bit later part of the video here. But for example, if you go for the Ginger, Beans, and Ginger pattern, Overall, the uh, Tyranitar is going to be quite strong um, coming into that level 60. And the reason for that is typically the beans and the ginger pair up nicely for uh, quite a few of the dishes. And at that point, you don't really care too much about getting uh, some extra uh, beans in there when you are farming uh, the ginger at level 60. And Tyranitar is one of those uh, great Pokemon that is worthwhile to level up all the way into the 60. And for the most part, you just want to avoid the sausage here. Uh, that's not going to be good for you. So if you find double ginger bean or triple ginger or ginger bean uh, ginger, it's going to be quite strong for you. Uh, the big problem with Tyranitar is uh, not only does it evolve quite late, it also has that increased EXP curve. Uh, due to being a pseudo legendary so it's going to require a lot more resources to uh, level it up it is somewhat rare uh, but for the most part you will be uh, looking to just use it on your team as a daily xp collector um, and then you probably want to just hunt a little bit at top hollow and um, get a little bit of candy that way and just Hope that overall uh, your Tyranitar will turn out nicely. We have a couple more ingredient specialists that I want to cover, and then we can go in depth a little bit, actually discussing multiple Pokemon for the potential um, ginger source, and then just list a few sub skills and uh, some of the natures. So Tyranitar is a good ingredient specialist, Kangaskhan not so much, 
And then we have one last ingredient specialist, and then we have a berry specialist, which is a surprise. We have Charizard, and we have Marowak. Marowak is a funny one, uh, just because not only does it have the potential for the triple ginger here, the cacao drop here is massive. Uh, I don't have it in my head now. Uh, you can have a look at the cacao video, but as a berry specialist, this cacao drop here is pretty big. So for the most part, focus on the berries, but if you somehow find the double cacao, it's gonna be way stronger than the triple ginger, even though the triple ginger sometimes is nice. So don't really consider the Marowak too much. And then when it comes to the Charizard, it's gonna be your main bean sausage Pokemon. You don't want the herb. If you get some mix here of the ginger, I do think it's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Um, not a lot of dishes really go uh, well hand in hand here with these two ingredients. So if you do find a really good Charizard that has the triple sausage or the double ginger, I think overall that's gonna be the best bet more so than this like in between as we talked about with the Tyranitar where you get sausage, ginger and sausage um, because they don't really supplement each other all that good. So you mostly wanna focus on the ginger or just the triple beans. So you can check out the bean video for the Charizard. So we can head into the expansion here and just start off with Tyranitar as overall I would say it is the main Pokemon for the ginger and a little bit for the beans too. Uh, my Tyranitar personally looks something like this. I think it is the rash nature. No, it's the mild. Yes, something like that is my um, Tyranitar. And then I personally have Berry Finding on mine. And then I have the Sleepy XP bonus. And then I actually have, with one subskill seed, an inventory L on my Tyranitar. So it is a bit... Um, messy here in terms of explaining the overall uh, strategy but leveling up Tyranitar is such a huge investment that this sleep exp bonus in my opinion is going to help you out quite a bit and it does also affect the rest of your team so overall you're going to get a little bit of bonus um, across the entire team as well as helping the steep curve on the Tyranitar in my opinion if you do find oh, what was this nature again is it like the quiet or something? Yeah. In my opinion, if you go for the quiet nature on the Tyranitar and you, let's say, for example, have the ingredient finder M here and maybe the helping speed. Overall, it's not bad, but I think you are going to be frustrated with just how long it's gonna take you until you have the Tyranitar. So for the most part, you are actually looking at this, having a pupitar with a decent ingredient rate, but it is super slow and it doesn't have all that good an in inventory yet. And so overall, it is gonna be a long grind for you, but it could work out to an extent and it just very much depends on uh, your collection overall just because there are so many <laughs> Typhlosion, uh, there are so many options uh, for the ginger. So yeah, we could potentially uh, make the best case scenario uh, Tyranitar here that I do think is gonna be the rash nature. Potentially also mild. Now both of these will negatively impact the uh, charge energy S, but for the most part, the skill trigger rate here and the overall level of this, once you evolve it from Larvitar, Pupitar, Tyranitar, it's gonna be overwhelmingly strong, even at main skill level three, if you do have a healer Pokemon. So don't worry too much about the energy recovery down, but overall it is something to consider a little bit. I think on the Tyranitar, just because it has that funny 27% ingredient rate, it would be super funny to just double up here and go for something like the ingredient finder 
inventory combo. That could be interesting. Then essentially you can just put it on your team overnight and you're going to have a tremendous amount of uh, warming ginger uh, waking up, potentially enough to sustain you uh, throughout the day for the various meals. Uh, we can bring up the warming ginger here. You can see that overall it's not a very high value ingredient. And even though the bean sausage is a little bit higher than the soybeans, I wouldn't recommend this slot. Um, mine personally has the ginger, beans, and ginger combo for the ninja salad. That is amazing. And especially later on when I get this last ginger unlock um, at the end. But if we are talking ginger, we're thinking triple ginger here. We have the ingredient finder M, we have the ingredient finding up nature, and potentially also you could think about the helping speed here. Um, one sub skill here that you definitely do not want under any circumstance on your Tyranitar is skill level up M. If this somehow pops up early in your uh, sub skill list, that is gonna be very unfortunate. Same with this one right here. These two are just troll sub skills. You don't want them on the Tyranitar just because the charge energy S, even at level two, is gonna be so strong with the skill rate that you're just gonna hit the max 150%. Don't do the skill level up M, and then you can consider if you like continue the hunt for the Larvitar well into the, the teens of the friendship level, and then helping bonus and the berry finding are going to be your main um, options there, as well as the sleep EXP. In my opinion, that's going to be a big help for you, and potentially also if you can find a nature here that is not the quiet because it's just gonna hinder you so much. It's gonna be frustrating, I promise you. I had the um, rash nature, I think. Nope, it's the mild on my Tyranitar. And I do have the EXP bonus and still I felt so impatient to level up the, the Pupitar enough to where I could evolve it. And so it was just a big letdown overall, but at the point where you do get the Tyranitar, it is a good Pokemon. Uh, one interesting topic that Brovini has covered quite in depth is the Master Biscuit. I know in some of his uh, earlier videos, he talked a lot about how the Tyranitar is a potential for the Master Biscuit. And to an extent, Tyranitar is quite strong uh, as a Pokemon. So even though you do miss out on a bit of inventory, it is in the same boat as Gengar, in my view, to where as long as you don't get the bean sausage as an ingredient option, for the most part, a lot of these sub skills are quite flexible. Um, as long as you don't get the ingredient finding down, and as long as you find at least one of these ingredient finding M in the first two, three slots, then the Tyranitar is gonna be just fine. So if you're starting out, um, and you have got a Master Biscuit, then potentially the Tyranitar, if you buy the off chance, find one, uh, could be worthwhile, just because you get a lot of punch very early. But overall, now that the Legendaries are coming to the game, uh, the uh, Biscuit spend on those are gonna be a lot more worthwhile than the Tyranitar, so that's just an aside. In the last portion here, we're gonna do some rapid fire uh, mentioning of other Pokemon that does have the Ginger as an option. We have the Raichu, and we did cover uh, the Marowak here. And so we'll just quickly look past that one. Uh, Typhlosion is another option. Uh, it does have the possibility for the triple Ginger that is likely the uh, best ingredient list on the Typhlosion, but it is an S tier, very specialist, so just look past the ingredient list altogether. It's just a nice to have. And then we have the Togekiss. Togekiss is decent with the double ginger. 
um, or even like a mixed set or triple eggs, it's got such a low ingredient rate that for the most part, you're just going all in on the skills and uh, not really considering the ingredient list that much. I have multiple Togekiss, they always let me down in terms of ingredients, so just don't consider it, look past it, and uh, be happy with your choice. Uh, and then we have the Houndoom. Another berry specialist, don't consider the ingredient list too much. And then we have the Banette. Yet another non-ingredient Pokemon. And then we have the Wall Rain. Overall, don't care about the ingredient list on the wall rain. Uh, the overall best value is likely going to be the oil, sausage, and ginger. But the berry finding and helping speed is going to be way more important on the wall rain. So that was pretty much it for this video covering the warming ginger. Hope you found it helpful. Leave a big ol' thumbs up if you liked it. And thank you for watching. I appreciate you for sticking around on the channel.